video now in this video, we're going to be doing grid snapping. Now, what is grid snapping? It can be used for tile based games and it can also be used for platformer creatures. So, in this video, we're going to be doing this. Like, we get to customize our own level, but you can add a platforming script and you can turn it into a platformer, a platforming customized level for this platformer creator. When I press on 2, I can change my uh, design. When I press on 3, I can erase the design. Pretty cool, right? So let's get started instantly. First, let's um, just create a new project. Yeah, sure. And let's just name it. Let's delete the sprite real quick. And let's paint this thing. And let's click on the square thing and change how we do it. Now press, press on Shift and draw a um, tiny rectangle. I would prefer this size, and I don't want any outline. Okay. And let's make this black. Okay. So now let's get the one-click block, and let's click on this extensions thing, and click on pen. This is what we want. Now let's click one-click erase all, so it just erases everything on the screen. Now let's get a forever loop. Let's say show right here. Let's go go to front layer. And let's say forever go to mouse pointer. So it follows our um, mouse. And now let's like make sure that when we click on this um, like screen, then it gets attached to that point. So it makes like a square at that point. So let's do it by saying if um, mouse down, then uh, stamp. So stamp is basically like sticking to that place. So yeah, now it's like something like drawing. But this is not what we want, so let's fix that. Okay, so let's go to motions, get a go to XY, and let's get a X position and Y position, and uh, let's say, let's get the round block, and, uh, and then let's say, let's get a divided by block, and let's say like 30. And now let's put this um, round inside of this. So make sure you follow this order. Then you get a times block, and then also put the same number as you put in here. I would recommend 30 if you put this uh, same size as this. OK, so now all you have to do is duplicate this and change this x position to y position. Now put it in the respective positions, and let's try this out. Yay, nice, right? Yeah, I can like draw, it's pretty cool. And just to tell you guys, if you made a bigger like thing, if you made like a bigger uh, square, then just um, change the size to like maybe 50, uh, 60, and just try out something. So if you need help, just message me in the comments. And now we just wanna, uh, if we want a different design, but just duplicate this and uh, change the color to like, I don't even know if it's orange, I guess. Yellow, okay. Let's just change that, and let's see, um, let's get a if. Okay, so, if. Key. One pressed. And if key two pressed. Just duplicate that. So if key one is pressed, then we switch costume to the first one, which is costume one, and two is costume two. When we click on the green flag, let's make it costume one, so it defaults to that. Now I can draw in different shapes or <laughs> colors. You can also make like triangles, but uh, I'm, I'm just gonna teach you how to add like a erase thingy. It's pretty simple, all you have to do is duplicate that and just put everything as white. So, yeah. So it looks like the same as the screen color, and just put costume 3 and 3. Alright, good job. So, let's just scribble some, I don't know, let's make this level. And let's pass on 3 and we can delete this whole thing. So. Yeah, I have a empty screen. Pretty cool, yeah. Okay, so yeah, that, that was how you did it. Make sure if you want to test, click on full screen. Because um, if you just do this screen, like, you can't, it just drags along with you. 
That's part of the scratch bug. I guess it's not really a bug. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please do like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Next video, I'll, I'm planning to make a Fruit Ninja series. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Thank you.